Hey guys, so this is video number three, and I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of college since this is my first day back to school. Um, I just finished decorating my room and getting all my stuff organized. Um, and I figured now would be a good time to talk about what do I like about college and what I don't like about college. So I'm just gonna go in like a list format of what I like and what I don't like about college. The purpose of this video is for the people that aren't in college, they can kind of get a scope as to what college is about and what it isn't about. Um, what are kind of, what, what should you expect out of college or what should you expect when you go to college. And then for those of you that are already in college or already did college, it's kind of way to reflect or kind of bounce back like anything that I missed or you know make a comment below um, anything that you think other people should know about college or your experiences in college what you liked or didn't like let me know in the comments below and what you think because really most of it is opinion so we'll, st we'll start off positive so the pros privacy you know you have your own dorm some of the time sometimes you share rooms I know my first semester here uh, I was in a forced economic triple which absolutely sucked like I got out of that after the first semester I did not want to do two semesters of that I pretty much shared a closet I got top bunk I had like this much space between the bed and the ceiling like this much space it was just really cramped now this is my second semester of having a single um, and I love the privacy you don't have to worry about a roommate you don't have to worry about him coming in and out or him playing music late at night I have experienced before a roommate watching a video of trumpets at 2 a.m. There was classes the next day. So yeah, you're gonna have your good roommates and your bad roommate. Also, if you have roommates, you could be like sexed out, which sucks pretty much when they kick you out because they're gonna have sex. All right, another good thing is independence. You're kind of like living on your own for the first time. You don't have your parents telling you to clean your room or do your homework. You kind of just manage it as you go. Pick it up fast, not that hard. Yeah, so independence is good. It, it feels good. Also, learning new things. It kind of sounds cheesy, but going to college is for learning. Um, And when you go to class, some things you are gonna find interesting. I mean, most things will be boring, and most things most things are abstract at first but you do learn some cool things along the way and it's interesting so that's good also meeting new people who are different and like yourself you know going to group event or going out to like a nightclub or whatever like nearby you're gonna find especially if you're, if you're at a large university like I am you're gonna meet a lot of people and I think that's the benefits of going to like a large college is you could get to meet a lot more people so your own little network actually grows and you and that's a good thing you want to increase the amount of people you know for networking capabilities. So I gotta go, I gotta go faster. Um, dining hall food. The college I go to is actually ranked one in the country for the best food. Like my expectations was college is that I was gonna be eating like ramen noodle every night. Yeah, it's completely false. They have salmon, they have lobster every Halloween. Um, we have, like I love fish and there's so much fish. We have sushi every day, all day long. Um, we have late nights after nine o'clock. They have like special things like Sundays, um, anything you can imagine on it or fried dough or they just have a lot of amazing food here. So that's definitely a plus. Um, and a lot of healthy food too and they keep track of all the calories they have like little notes so you can read the calories or carbs all right what else the gym okay so like obviously going to college here and living on campus I also have access to the gym the gym is like state-of-the-art it's really nice most colleges have a gym that you can just go to and run so that you kind of get healthy um so you can stay healthy you know it's important you know when going to college you want to not only feed your your brain but you want to help your muscles and you want to like keep the calories down you know you don't want to gain the freshman 15 or whatever so going to the gym that's really important and and it's a good life skill to learn, you know, good habits to learn. And you should learn them in college because whatever your habits are now, you're going to really continue those after college and when you get older. So it's good to keep good habits in. Also, I love big lectures. So at this college that I go to, um, a lot of the intro courses and a lot of the intro courses have large classes. I love large classes because I like I love sitting there taking notes and just kind of writing things down um, going through. Also, the classes usually have a supplemental instructor. Those are really cool because they really teach you the subject. The professor kind of like introduces the subject and kind of gives you the summary, but the SI is a student that really got an A or better in the class and they know what they're doing and they can actually explain it, explain it to you like a real person. Another pro is customizable space. So you can see my room and I showed you earlier in the video. My room is kind of like awesome because I decorated it. Um, I have my hamster underneath my bed. I have, you know, the flag up. I have lights. It's their own pad, so 
it's cool decorating it. Another cool thing, another pro, is actually earning a degree, which can help you get a job afterwards, but it's important to know that degree doesn't equal job. So, like myself, I'm gonna try to get into graduate school. That's gonna, like, focus me more into a medical career path, whereas right now, I major in microbiology, so I'm kind of on this academic learning of microbiology, kind of general microbiology. And then, once I graduate, I wanna do grad school so that I can work in a hospital setting, in a clinical setting. Another pro is events. There's a lot of events on campus for anything you can think of. There's an event for it, really. They're usually on the campus page. They'll have events posted. We're on Facebook. They'll have things posted to keep you updated. So now with the cons. There are a lot of cons, and I think I have more cons than pros, unfortunately. Um, but it's not that bad because the pros are big pros and they're good. Cons, floor meetings. Floor meetings suck. Even when you're, I mean, for me and a lot of people I know, they do, either don't go to floor meetings or they dread going to them. And they, they're they sort of awkward. They have like little little intros, you know, introduce yourself type thing to the floor. And they're kind of just, they're like a waste of time. Like they're like during dinner time, they just suck. So everyone dreads floor meetings, but you don't really have to go to them. Even though they're like mandatory floor meetings, you don't have to go to them. Um, another thing is stress. There's a lot of stress in college, keeping up with grades, um, also keeping up um, with social activities and going to the gym and kind of like, and if you have a job, balancing those things out like really sucks. So it is stressful. Also social pressures and distractions. So you say you have an exam, but your friend wants to go out to the nightclub or they want to hang out and watch a movie or there is a movie that night and you kind of want to hang out or you're with your significant other. You really have to balance that and that's really a balancing act. For me, I've noticed that whenever I start a semester, my first exams are always the worst exams and then I end up getting better because I think I slag off a little bit at the beginning thinking that I can handle it and then it kind of like whips me back into place and then I, and I study harder and then I make up for those those first round of exams. Another thing is money. College costs a ton of money. I am in a lot of debt. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Um, also buying like snacks or food throughout the semester is really expensive and then balancing a job. Also getting to know professors sucks because there's a lot of students in each class and kind of getting to know the professors so that they can write you a letter of recommendation for graduate school School really sucks. I've worked so far now in two professor labs. The second lab that I'm in, I know the professor pretty well, but professors are intimidating. They're, you know, they're like experts in their field. Um, they've had years of experience, you know, they've, and, and then you're kind of like talking to them and then you kind of have to like match that and they have to see that in you. And it's, it's really difficult and that, that I find is more stressful than any of my classes. Like I stress about how, how can I impress my professor or how can I, you know, make sure that this professor can give me a good letter of recommendation. And that's it's always difficult to do. I mean, it's easier for some people, but for me, like I'm an introvert, so it's difficult to kind of branch out and get to know someone of that stature. All right, moving in and out of the dorms also um, is rough. So <clears throat> everyone is moving in pretty much at the same time and everyone's using the elevators. You know, the building I'm in has 21 floors. Um, so you really need the elevators, only three elevators and only one of those elevators goes to every floor. The other ones go to only the even number floors. Also, that's a lot of stuff to pack. It's a lot of stuff to move back home. Move in day and move out day they're like lame um so that's definitely a con another thing noisy neighbors i haven't had a problem with this but i have had neighbors pe people down the hallway like slam their doors um and another con is laundry and paying for your laundry and sharing the small laundry room so from my building we have laundry like every three floors or every other floor and we everyone in the building obviously has to share those and everyone does their laundry like on the weekend so you really got to do it at, at like an off time also people who don't take their laundry out when it's done because when that happens stuff gets awkward because you start digging through their stuff one time I was doing that and it was all girls lingerie and I was like this is so awkward so I was like taking things out I was quickly like putting them on top of the dryer so I could put my stuff in and then she came walking in and I was like oh this is awkward like you know like shit like I'm like touching this girl's crap like awkward and she she was irritated but whatever like get your shit when it's done also early or late classes like I have a class this semester at 3 30 and it ends at 6 30 so that's kind of rough but but it's only once a week. Um, and then early classes, if you have an 8 a.m. class, that really sucks. I had one 8 a.m. class and it was really rough getting up um, every other day to go to that class. And it was on the opposite side of campus, so I had to really leave my dorm by like 7.20 to even like walk over there and get there early. Um, also losing your key or ID, this is like disastrous because you have to find your RA and then the RA had to find the uh, residence director and then kind of like a big struggle and usually there's a fee inv involved, so. You don't really want to lose your ID or your key. Also bathroom cleaning, so 
my bathroom gets cleaned every weekday at, I think, 9.30 gets cleaned. So if you have a class, say, at, like, 10.30 and you want to shower, well, you can't because it's being cleaned. So you really have to go down two flights of stairs because it's a pattern of girl boy, girl boy bathrooms. So my floor is a guy's floor, so I just have to go down two flights of stairs to get to the other guy's room. So if this is being cleaned at 9.30 and I need to use it at 9.30 or 9.45, I can't. So I have to wait till they're done or shower beforehand. So that's kind of inconvenient sometimes, but you'll work around it. Also, um, the bathroom on weekends gets really gross. Bathroom toilets might have vomit or people will pee on them. Uh, people won't flush and it's really disgusting. So I usually go to like the farthest stall from the door, which is usually like the last used and that one's usually like clean. Just be prepared for that because it's kind of like really gross. Another con is buying books. Nobody likes to buy books. I find that I don't actually use the books. Uh, for college, it's expensive. It's like professors will require a textbook or whatever and I don't, I don't really use those books. Sometimes if I'm insecure about the class, I end up buying the book and then I end up never using it and it's like a waste of $100. Buy your books on Amazon. Used, of course, never buy them new. That's it, there's all the pros and cons to college. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There'll be more videos every other week. You know, this is my first day of classes. I, uh, I had my very first class was Organic Chemistry 2 and we already took a ton of notes, like a ton of freaking notes, like. I don't know if you can see, like, those notes, but I already started, like, stressing a little bit. I have a class later today in a couple of hours, so yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Please like the video, share the video. Um, I'm going to be posting videos every other week. Wide range of topics. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Bye, YouTubers.